Right, looking back to last game, ground game kept going. Great offensive line uh, push. Uh, Kronk is still rolling. Your, your thoughts on last game? Well, it was good to see. We needed it, that's for sure. We needed um, our other line and our, our running game to really play well um, uh, in that game, and they did. They came through. And um, But, you know, we, we're always looking forward to, to the next game and, and, and where we got to be, and we got to get a lot better in the throw game and, and to add more balance. And a little bit was, I think, Jordan banged his shoulder. Um, we threw him on the sideline. He looked okay, but I think a couple of those long balls and actually one early that we could have had also was wide open. Um, you know, I think that was from the shoulder. So hopefully, we got to get him healthy because we need him playing at the top of his game for us to really maximize our potential. Navy's 16th in the nation in total defense. What do you, what do you see out of them? What are they doing really well? Well, I tell you what, they give you a lot of looks, you know, and, and for young quarterbacks, it'll be important that Jordan um, makes some checks for us and gets us in the right plays. Um, um, we feel like if we can get a hat on the hat and, and uh, make sure we're in the right right plays at the right time that we can um, we can you know make hay, especially on the ground. And, and um, we got to hit some throws in the air. But uh, man, they'll, they'll come up and look blitz, you know, all out blitz, and then they'll drop out or they'll they'll come after you um, with a cover zero blitz. And so they give you a lot of different looks, and you got to make quick decisions and quick checks. And um, we're going to have to be on our game to, to to be able to move the football. Kerwin, is Brad Cecil okay? Is he going to be? Good. Yeah, Brad. Brad really toughed it out. I mean, he turned his ankle and, and late last week, and um, man, he he had a big assignment last week, and also banged his shoulder a little bit during the game. But he bowed the whole game, really neutralized their big nose tackle, and that's that's why we were able to run the football so successfully. It, it's those same five guys. I mean, you moved Donovan from the inside out. What's changed these last two games from the first part of the year? Well, we just kept preaching to them that you know we show them on film. This is you know leaning on block, leaning on guys is not blocking guys. You know. <laughs> Stopping your feet, and, and just because you got them in a position where you're leaning on them don't mean you're blocking them. We want to see you expand the hole, and you do that by keeping your drive, your, your feet in a drive mode. And that takes a lot of effort. That takes a lot of energy. And, and those guys have been willing. They've committed to, to playing hard every play. I tell you what, Billy and, and, um, and Marcus both played their butt off, I mean, with great effort. I'm like, whatever y'all did before the game, do that again, because they had an unbelievable effort. And then we're getting great effort on the other side. So um, when those those things started to happen, that's when our ground game really started to, to come alive. We're moving the line of scrimmage. We're controlling the line of scrimmage. And when you do that, you got the kind of backs we got. Now we can be successful in the run game. Coach, um, Navy obviously holds the ball a long time. What is your message to your guys? Well, we got to have quality drives. That's what we've been preaching. You know, we got to start early. Listen, the one thing you do is you get up ahead of these teams. And, and we hadn't done a great job of that. We preached it. We preached it last week to get up early. Listen, it makes everybody better. Your defense better. It makes your offense better when you're playing with a lead. When the defense is playing with a lead, it makes it better for them. Uh, but in a game like this, it just really, really showcases that because um, you have to, and with, a, with a team that runs the wishbone or runs the ball a lot, you've got to make them play out their elements, and that is playing from behind. And so we need to come off with a great start. We know that. We've been preaching that. But we also got to understand every drive has got to be a quality drive. You can't waste drives. You don't, you don't minimize. You probably don't get two or three, maybe three or four less drives in the game that you usually get because of the way they hold the ball. And so we got to have quality drives and we got to score points when we get opportunity to go out there on the field. Going back to Mitch's touchdown, that ball wasn't for him. He's just went all out after it. I mean, what are your thoughts on that play and what he's bringing? Yeah, I mean, Jordan, it, we had a we had um, St. Felix wide open. He ran a stutter and go and beat the guy down the sideline. He was open, but Jordan threw it too far um, out there. And um, Mitch was supposed to run a middle read, and he seen the ball, and he adjusted to it perfectly. Unbelievable catch. We needed that play there at that time. Our defense had held on, kept us in the game, and uh, we found a way then to make a play. I think once we get that, it's funny. This team is so young. They're so inexperienced. That I'm just, it's, it's been tough, but when these guys – when they get success, man, they start playing at a higher level. We just got to find that success for them early. And uh, once we get it, man, we start playing, and um, and that's what happened. Krug's been getting the notoriety from his 100-yard games, but Sands the past two games has been huge. What are you seeing? Well, I tell you what, he's he's playing at a uh, – I hadn't been around here before this year, but I think he's a really good football player. Playing really physical, hits the hole hard. Um, I think they feed off each other. I think Jordan starts seeing Sands run hard, he runs harder, and vice versa. I mean, they are – complimenting each other really well. And like I say, the, the difference between now and these last two games and the first three or whatever, four, was we're moving the line of scrimmage. We're, we're getting a hat on a hat. We're rolling people out of there. And our feet, our, our linemen are putting extra effort into finishing blocks. And because of that, these guys are really performing at a high level. I've seen you try and establish the run and eventually it's gotten going the last two games. But look at Navy 
the stat stop the run? Might this have to be a cloud game? Well, listen, I'm always looking. I don't, I don't fall in that trap of, hey, we run it good this week because we don't run it good next week. No, there's going to be times, and this could be a week, where we got to just continue to work uh, on our throw game and work on our, our, our things that are negative, our, our weaknesses. And, um, again, we got to get in the climb. People don't know how. Last week, he looked like a middle school out there trying to throw the ball because he, he had a hurt hand. He could not grip the ball. He kept wearing a glove without a glove. He had bad bruises uh, in his hand and he couldn't grip the ball all last week. I mean, he hardly ever – when he did throw, it just didn't look good at all. We finally got him ready for the game, and then he gets a shoulder stinger, I think, on the third series. Um, he's dealing with that. Um, he didn't practice last yesterday, but he went today. We think he's going to be close to 100% by game time. But we got to get him get him to 100% and play it at a high level for us to really – because people are going to – People are going to take away that, man. This defense is really good at the run, and so we've got to hit some plays in the passing game. We've got to be good in the passing game. It's frustrating right now, but we're going to keep working at it. We're going to try to get him healthy, get him playing at a high level. I think once we do, then we can really come together with this ground game and, and start scoring a lot of points. You know, I told him last week we're I put 41. We talked about 41. We drew it on the board everywhere they went to the meetings. They seen 41. They kept asking, "What's 41 mean, coach?" and we didn't tell anybody till Friday night before the game. I said, listen, 41 is, you've averaged, it's really unbelievable that players on our team, don't, nobody figured it out. But in the last three games, we averaged 41 points a game. And that's who we were. And last week, we should have had 41. I mean, we had 28, and we had two or three easy touchdowns. Anybody could see that. Somebody did. The one he ran and fumbled, we had a wide open touchdown there. And he had to flush to his right. So the plays are there, and we're, we're, we're that kind of football team. We need to feel that we need to have that kind of confidence that we can go score points but we got to get him healthy i think once we do then we can really go and do what we need to do and what we've done the last three weeks and that's go out and score points now that you say about his hand was that part of the fumble i don't know he you know he was wearing a glove because it felt like he could grip it better with that um now it's funny that the hand's almost healed up <laughs> finally after two weeks well this, that happened way back two or three weeks ago and it just kept staying sore kept moving it got to a point where he couldn't grip it. Um, but now it's the shoulder we just got to make sure. And it's, it's a, it was a little stinger. He's, he's, he threw better today. And uh, we think by tomorrow and Friday he's going to be ready to go. But, again, we just got to – I think the hands will be no issue at all now. But, um, but now it's, we just got to get him healthy and we got to get him confident. And we got to – you know, this is a big game for him. He's young. This will be on the road. He's going to have to make some tough decisions out there, some quick decisions, some quick changes, make sure he gets us in the right place. But he's that kind of guy. He can, he can figure it out. He's very sharp at the line of scrimmage. And I think if we do that, then we got a chance to go score some points and get up early. If we do that, then we'll, we'll be in control of the game. Good stuff, man. Thanks, Kurt.